All right, we're just doing a quick video of oil change on a 2015 Nissan Altima. Um, putting some 0W20 in it. Let's see what the cap says. If it even says anything. Doesn't say, but that's what they told me at AutoZone, so hopefully that's right. Anyways, looks like a four-cylinder. Um, you're going to need a 14 millimeter socket. And the drain bolt looks like this. I got it draining right here. Now, I was looking all over the place for the oil filter up under here, and I could not find it. And then finally, I was looking around through the engine bay. And actually, if you come to the passenger side tire, and you come around here and pull back this little, I don't know, it's already ripped up on this one. But if you pull back this plastic cover, which I guess you would undo with this thing, you can get to uh, the oil filter that's kind of hidden there. So I don't know. They kind of hide it from you so you can take it to the dealership or something. I'm not sure. And then I will also show you where the air filter location is. I'm going to kind of do a little tune-up on this. Just air filter and oil. Um, spark plug soon. This is a customer car, so... Tinker and Tom out here making money with it. Skills now, so this is the one of the Chrysler's gone that I worked on. But anyways, there was a Chrysler Sebring. I've been doing some stuff too. I need to get some video on that. But um, yeah, you drain it there. It said it was like 4.86 quart, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put the full five quart jug in there because they're not always all the way full anyways. So. Pull this out. Kind of a weird little thing there. Oh, okay. It's one of these. Yeah, I meant to get my flathead and work that out, but. I'm gonna get a flathead and try to work that out before I just rip it up completely. But pretty much, it's right there. Luckily, I got lucky and it turns. I don't really know how it's gonna drain. So I'm just gonna go all over that arm right there. It's not really a pretty way to do it. But uh, let's go ahead and show you the air filter location. I had a bundle at AutoZone that really saved me it was uh, air, um, air filter, oil filter, and synthetic oil. All for like 33 bucks or something. So these have some clips. One, two, three, four, five. There's the air filter. I'll place that. It's pretty filthy. Yeah, this one's gone. So. And it's not too bad in here. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to get back with you guys in a minute. When it's all done. Alright, I got it all wrapped up. Back on the ground. Uh, you probably will need to lift this car up. It's pretty hard to get under there to that bolt. So I would probably need to put, you'd need to put the front two wheels up a little bit. Like on jack stands. Uh... Got the oil in there. I undid the battery just to reset everything. I'm gonna let it idle here in a minute. I got the air filter in there. Like I said, it was like five clips. Uh, what else? All right, and just hit. Uh, I don't know. I'll let you guys listen to this. Uh, just warm up here, I guess. Push start. Let it idle out a little bit. Let's 
some little safety feature or something. Seems pretty quiet. This power steering has a whine. I think it's just dirty fluid. That's gonna be the next thing I tackle, I think. Pump's got a whine here. I think it's kinda dirty. So, uh, we have to investigate that one. And we got a missing cap here, so I'm gonna tell the customer about that. That goes to the, uh, the radiator. So that's not good for that to be open. All right guys, hit subscribe, like, for more videos like this, I'm going to be working on some more vehicles and uh, you guys can get a little taste of every type of vehicle out there since I'm going to be working on anything I can handle. Alright, peace.